Any way you look at it, cults are scary. But you don't have to join a cult to get a glimpse into what it's like to live in one. Immerse yourself in a cult-like experience by watching one of these top television series that focus on both real and fictional cults. A few disclaimers though. The TV shows mentioned in this video are listed in no particular order and there won't be any documentary series on this list. From now on, spoiler warning is in effect. This is TV Show Pilot, and here are the 10 best TV shows about cults. All the way to the upstairs right now. Go on. Wacko. We'll start off the list with probably one of the most well-known series about cults, the 1993 Wacko Siege in Texas. Wacko is a six-episode miniseries that dramatizes the events leading up to the violent 51-day standoff between the FBI, ATF, and the religious movement Branch Davidians under the leadership of David Koresh and the conflict itself. Koresh fancied himself a prophet, claiming to be a descendant of King David and therefore being tasked with establishing a kingdom in Waco, Texas. But as he ascended into the leadership of the Branch Davidians, the FBI caught wind of allegations of abuse, leading to several attempts by the FBI and ATF to search the premises. Wacko pointedly portrays the rising tensions and blazing battle between the parties involved, though some criticized that the show was a little too forgiving towards Koresh. Miracle. What are you saying? I got my sign from God, Gary. We're coming out. Aquarius. We can't talk about cults without talking about the Manson family. They are, after all, one of the most notorious cults in America and maybe even around the world. While there have recently been a few movies featuring the Manson family, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Charlie Says, but before those there was NBS series Aquarius. <laughs> A mix of real life and fictional people and events, Aquarius follows LAPD detective Sam Hodayek in the 1960s as he investigates the case of Emma Karn, a teenage girl who's gone missing. Hodayek's investigation takes him on the tail of Charles Manson himself, along with his hippie followers that include Emma. Aquarius's two seasons cover Manson's expanding influence and the events leading up to gory Helter Skelter. You. Us. The whole world. It's gonna eat everything up, Emma. Sacred Lies. Facebook Watch has a lot of good original series, and anthology series Sacred Lies is one of them. The series has two seasons so far, but in this list we will focus on the show's first season, simply titled Sacred Lies. Based on Stephanie Oakes' novel The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly, the series follows Minnow Bly, a young girl who emerges from the woods looking dazed and missing both of her hands. She ends up in juvenile detention, where it's eventually revealed that she had successfully escaped from the Kivinian cult, a fringe cult led by a man who claims to be able to speak directly with God. The FBI suspects that she may know more than she's letting on about the death of their cult leader, if she didn't do it herself, that is. American Horror Story Cult Speaking of anthologies, the next series list is anthology series American Horror Story, which has become extremely popular among fans of the supernatural horror genre. More specifically, we're focusing on the show's seventh season titled American Horror Story Cult. AHS Cult takes a different approach to the cult trope by mainly following the perspective of someone outside the political cult central to the story. Set in the divisive aftermath of the 2016 presidential elections, local restaurant owner Ali Mayfair Richards begins to experience increased anxiety and paranoia following Trump's win. This is made worse by attacks from a group of assailants dressed as clowns that only she experiences, leading those around her to doubt her already unstable mind. Soon, however, Ali discovers that these attackers may have a connection to the growing influence of the alt-right in their community. The Cult the only international show on this list, The Cult, was produced in New Zealand, 
though it has also been broadcasted internationally. In the series premiere, we find out that people have been mysteriously disappearing for the past few years and then turning up in a place they called Two Gardens. As it turns out, Two Gardens is a cult led by a man named Edward North, who sought out the members due to a strange coincidence that he believes will lead them to an era of peace. The series revolves around Edward and three of the cult's members, Andy, Gina and Ryan and showcases the lengths their loved ones will go to save them from two gardens. The Prisoner The next two shows are a two-for-one deal, since here we'll cover both the original series and the modern-day reboot. The Prisoner first aired in 1967 for one 17-episode season and has since developed somewhat of a cult following. Which is why in 2009 a six-episode reboot was released. The reboot adapts the classic to modern times by eliminating such concepts as the Iron Curtain. In both series, the storyline focuses on an unnamed young man who one day finds himself in a beautiful yet eerily inescapable place called The Village. He has no memory of his previous life or even his real name, and he, along with everyone else who lives there, is simply designated a number, his being number 6. That's where the original and reboot start to differ, because number 6's experiences in the village are slightly different between the remake and the original series. In the original, those in charge subject 6 to various techniques to extract information, lending to the assumption that he could have previously worked with the government as a spy. While in the reboot, number 6 is consciously starting to remember details of his life that the village leaders try to suppress. The following. Fox series The Following features not one but two crazy cults throughout its three season run. Despite somewhat mixed reviews from critics, many have praised The Following's depiction of the collective cult mindset, the use of violence to play out the terrifying aspects of the cults, and the performances of both James Purefoy and Kevin Bacon. The following starts out focusing on former FBI agent Ryan Hardy's pursuit of serial killer Joe Carroll, who recently broke out of jail and formed his own cult of crazed killers. Every move Carroll makes brings him closer to his end goal, to escape FBI custody and reunite with his ex-wife. Where is she? You know, the human eye is connected by seven muscles. I removed each one. The second cult appears in the second season of the show and still ties into Carol, as the cult believes that Carol faked his own death to continue his plan of escape. The Path Then there is The Path, which hails from streaming giant Hulu and lasted for three seasons. Interestingly, the show was originally titled The Way, but was subsequently renamed to avoid any misunderstanding with The Way International, a real-life Christian ministry that has often been called a cult. The path follows Eddie Lane, his wife Sarah, and their two children as they live their lives within the fictional Mayorist movement. Mayorism, essentially an amalgamation of various religious practices, primarily believes in the importance of personal spiritual enlightenment. During a particularly illuminating retreat, which was designed to advance Eddie further up Mayorism's spiritual ladder, Eddie experiences an epiphany that instead makes him doubt everything he and his family believes in. <laughs> and last but definitely not least we have The Leftovers. Touted as one of the best TV shows ever made, the HBO series is definitely one that everyone should add to their must-watch list. In The Leftovers, a mysterious event called The Sudden Departure has erased 2% of the world's population without a trace. As those who remain scramble for answers, a new world order emerges. Mainstream religion all but vanishes and in its place are cults. The Guilty Remnant is one of these cults led by Holly Wing, a man who thinks of himself as the second coming of Jesus and encapsulates nihilism in all his cult's practices. And the series' main characters get caught up in the Guilty Remnant's activities to varying degrees, all while they try to rebuild their lives and communities. Dad! Go home, now, now! Which do you think is the best TV show about cults? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Press like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to TV Show Pilot YouTube channel for more videos like this.